What's going on, chosen vessel, chosen fruit, chosen nation? What is going on? Your girl is back with another video, another message where I was says, you know, you gotta keep that to there. I was says, bring me on the forefront. Mention me, right? Ruach Akadash, he is healing. I heard him say steadily healing, steadily healing. And so as you choose to go forth in a new direction with the Lord, there are so many different situations that is occurring. And my God, as everything is happening, there are many things God is revealing to us. And so my Lord and Savior, he's like, I am literally with you. I am literally here with you. And so as you choose to understand, and there are certain things that he is stating he is literally blessing Israel with okay and so in this season you want to find out exactly what is the blessing for you and so after everything happens in your life it just like you want to make sure you're hearing where the Lord is directing your steps and ordering your blessing to be Let's read. God will bless Israel. We're in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Okay, let's start. Welcome in the Holy Spirit into our dwelling place. Into your temple as we elevate, shift the climate, go a lot of bit higher, not a little bit, but a lot of bit, yeah, a lot of bit. Yeah, I posted it at the beginning, but everything just be happening how it happens. So we just go with the flow over here. We do a lot of bit, not a little bit, yeah. And it shall come to pass, God will bless Israel, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I have commanded thee this day, that the Lord God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, and thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. I hear the Holy One. And he is doing things in such a, my God, extraordinary way that everybody just got to jump on board to what the Lord is doing in our life. Okay. I mean, we we didn't even plan certain details of how they happening but see god is like i seen it i seen this day gonna come i'm your enjoyment i'm your fulfillment i'm your breakthrough and i think i was telling y'all about a video earlier when i had a, a prophetic dream oh that's what it is it's a podcast y'all gonna want to catch that podcast because it's literally talking from a standpoint of a prophetic dream of what i was hearing and the lord literally the holy spirit was there with me and he was speaking audible messages and this situation just kept occurring and this uh, young lady that I was talking about through the podcast was being convicted but it was somebody else on the other side listening to her while she was while she had her phone in her hand it was some type of music and I knew the music wasn't godly music okay but see at the same token there was somebody that was wa watching her and she ended up like kind of slightly closing the door on them to hear or to distract what she was doing and so I like yeah that's God's chosen fruit chosen vessel chosen nation and so so they come in closer to God at this time and God is literally sending his his vessels the message okay to gear them closer to so that they can hear him and so you guys everything is happening but we want to be in discernment baby you got to discern everything everybody's move every sudden blink every sudden nod every sudden wave every sudden hello because yeah who you be coming up to me like this what's happening uh-huh yeah, we do. As God tells the best, that's how he operates, you know. And so he has boundaries between everyone. And the enemy is where we have to separate those boundaries because we got to cast the stupor down so that he don't try to gear into the direction of where God's breakthrough or his blessing is arriving as he's the miracle worker the Lord is. Yes, he is. He's going to let you know detail for detail what's going on. But see, if we point the finger at the person to be the person, my God, the person to be that spirit we may hear, we may just miss the blessing. And so I learned over the course of time, chosen fruit, chosen vessel, when I didn't always have it all together and I didn't fully know who I was, I was discerning and I didn't know I had a gift. And as I was discerning, I was listening. I heard even the evil one, he was telling me certain things negatively to highlight a person as the problem. But really that person may not have even been the problem. It was the spirits that I was able to hear. And I wasn't like everybody else. And I was extraordinary and not everybody knew what I was hearing. So I was discerning things and I kept it to myself. And so I would make the, you know, the, the 
right judgment call or what I feel I needed to go and what I need to do. And if I need to go over here to the left or to the right or let me back up, nah, it's too much for me. That's what I would do until I knew that I know that I know. And see, that be odd, but talking to us the whole time, uh-huh, in so many different ways because in your wiring, he created you. And it wasn't until I chose to become more comfortable in who I was in my identity to know that, whoa, I belong to the Lord. That's why I act like this. That's why I operate like this. And so the world showed me I didn't act like them. I didn't operate like them. Yeah, they was trying to point the finger at me a few times. That's what made me start looking. I was trying to point the finger at other people. But see, I wasn't close. I wasn't really that. You know, I was very much so discerning. So I knew, like, if I point the finger, but that it's not adding up. So, like, let me go ahead and put that back down. And I need I to clarify what's going on. On. So I may not make the sudden move too fast. I need to see them fruits, how they adding up. How this person really act? Yeah. So I had to watch it for a little bit or a lot of bit. Yeah, depending on how them fruits adding up, baby. You start flipping trading. Now I got to run. Yeah, I'll run. <laughs> I'll run for them. Yeah. You know, I will have me. Yes, I would. <laughs> hey. Okay, we finna do a shout out. Let me see. Yeah, I love when I be on here and somebody get the comment and it says Zachariah 4. Yeah, I'm shouting you out. Hey, Zachariah 4. <laughs> Hold on. Every time I think I'm sweet, the phone lock up. All right, Zachariah 4, 6. YouTube subscriber, or maybe you just watching, but you said, okay, Hannah Mercy. It's giving Hannah Mercy. Mm -hmm. Let me see what you commented. It say Hannah Mercy commented. Yeah, shout out galore over here. Sure did. God is saying, make sure you are being aware and you are being alert because the enemy is trying to make people look back to a place that he ain't called them to. A place like Lot, you know, had to come from at that point in that time and that hour when Sodom and Gomorrah was trying to make them look back towards a direction that God was just like, uh-uh, that ain't what I told him to do or what I told him to go. And so, yeah, you want to be careful. Can you have me the other phone, Ryan? Yeah, he did. Thank you, Jesus. He told me that was going to happen because I was supposed to grab that phone and I I was like, no, then he like, right, gonna get it. I was like, but I don't need it, so I don't know why Ryan gonna get it. But then this happening, now I see exactly why Ryan got the phone. Y'all see Ryan got the phone? See? Me too. <laughs> so now let's look at this comment. Because the other phone locking up, so it's acting like I can't see it. So yeah, it wanna be funny acting right now. So let's just see what he said. Can we go on big shout outs right now? Because he commented at the right time. Okay. He says, Zachariah 4 and 6. Oh, oh, okay. Her name is Hannah. She commented Zachariah 4 and 6. So we need to go find that scripture. Let's see what Zachariah 4 and 6 say. Yeah, let's go see. Because God been working in so many which ways. Mm -hmm. Hey, you. Hannah. At, yeah. Sure did. And a lot of other. Yeah. Hannah Mercy. Mm-hmm. Let's see how God using you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We rebuke wolves in sheep clothing in Jesus' mighty name. I rebuke a timber wolf in Jesus' mighty name and cast it into the bottomless pit where the door is sealed shut. Every time I hear Zachariah, right, come tell me what you know. Let's tell us. Come on, tell us what you know about Zachariah. Zachariah, um, Zachariah, mm -hmm. uh, Come sit down. Mm -hmm. Come on, think about it. Let's seek wise counsel. Mm -hmm. I know you know Zachariah. You know Zachariah. Oh, yeah. See? He got deaf because, uh, like, yeah. he can't talk. He wasn't deaf. He can't talk. Mm -hmm. and because yeah, that was. That would hurt. See how the enemy, yeah, he tried to take it. He about to pay you back seven times fold. That was, she like, remember, you love Zachariah. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. And uh, Zachariah's uh, mouth had to get shut, mm -hmm. and then his wife had a uh, son. Mm -hmm. His name is John, mm -hmm. and uh, he got mm -hmm. un. He didn't have his <laughs> voice back when he had a son, and his he said his name uh. On the piece of thing, he said his name is John. Okay. The baptizer. That ever happened to you? Well, God, thank you, Ryan. What God literally have, I want you to read this one too. 
He literally. Zechariah 4, verse 6. Now. We started right here. Uh oh. 6. So he said, he said to me, this is the word of the Lord to Zechariah. That's Zerubbabel right there. Zerubbabel. <laughs> Not by might, mm -hmm. might, mm -hmm. nor not by power. Yep. Yeah, not by power. You said it right. Nor nor by power. By power, but by my spirit. Spirit. Spirit mm -hmm. sees the Lord. Almighty. Almighty. Zechariah 4 verse 5. Turn to Zechariah 4 verse 6. I mean. Mm -hmm. Good job. He sure did. Y'all heard the Lord. He said Just not by word. not by might, not by or mm -hmm. nor by power, Guys, but by his spirit. Let me show you it. You maybe can see it. Well, you can go find it. Yeah, they'll find it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Yeah, we thank you, Hannah Mercy. We thank you for that in word of encouragement. Y'all know that one song? Come on, sit up here. I will give it to you. Okay. It's, uh, <clears throat> not by mind, not by power, by your spirit, God. See your spirit, God. Okay. Yeah, because you are a God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are a uh, uh, in, in, in all. Okay. We stand in all of you. Give it out. You can come join us. See, come here when you're ready. But God is doing something new and amazing. And he may even need to close your mouth in order to, my God, protect the breakthrough. And not everybody need to hear it. Or everybody need to, you don't need to share it to everyone. And so every certain... Look at me get distracted by the window out here. Every situation that happens, you just want to make sure you're standing in the breakthrough hour and you're more confident about what God told you to do. And you start to look and yeah, I did get distracted over here. But see, God is like, stay focused over here. Because if we focus over here, you're going to be serving him in spirit and in truth. And so every single detail has to happen the way that God intended for it to happen in order for his breakthrough to shine for us. And so if you get lost over here, or I look up there, or I look down here, or I look right here every single thing trying to take my mind from away from where God said right here and so he did that he closed the mouth of Zachariah and I thank the Lord because he right here and I ain't perfect but he come and tell me who he is and I need my perfect all the time because my flesh be messing up and I get distracted a little bit a lot of bit now yeah he be like standing right there still, still do what I tell you to do and make sure you tell me the truth <laughs> Yeah, but I got this crowd looking over here and then yeah, a little bit over here. And I looked over there. But yeah, Lord, you were right here. Mm -hmm. God is getting ready to bless you. You can't be looking everywhere when a blessing is right there with you and within you. Ain't that deep? Guess what else? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, he did. He got me in order, humble me on the camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they be discerning. You discerning my fruits. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he corrected me. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> I am not perfect. Let's finish reading. Mm hmm God is. I just don't, I don't know what we left off at, but, you know, it says, let's start here. To observe and to do all the commandments which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, and thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the uh, I'm blessed in the field. Put it fill in the blank. I'm blessed when I come and when I go. You you are blessed in the city. You're blessed in the. You're blessed in the. Uh, when you come and when you go, you are blessed. Yes, blessed, blessed, blessed. Who blessed? Blessed, 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 bl
blessed. Start walking around your house and proclaiming it. Bless Jesus. Bless. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed when I come and when I go. Ruach says you blessed in the city. You blessed in the field. You blessed when you come and when you go. You are blessed. Blessed. You belong to him. Blessed. Blessed. You are blessed. Blessed. Bless, shout, blessed, blessed, I'm blessed in the city, I'm blessed in the field, I'm blessed when I come and when I go. Alright. <laughs> Alright. It says, blessed shall be the fruit of the of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of the thy cattle, the increase of thy kind. You guys, and the flocks of thy sheep. You make sure you guys are steady ten toes down for Christ. And if you have desired to have communion, right? You may not have been to church in a while. And you're still desiring to have communion, Right? Well, you literally want to break the bread, okay? In remembrance like of the body. Like get a saltita or a pita and then cut a small piece and then get a little bit of crummy juice or whatever is red and then read uh, what you look up, what uh, the thing, mm -hmm. and then read it mm -hmm. before you eat the... Before, mm -hmm. before you uh, eat it and drink it. You know... <laughs> yeah, what she said. You need to just get you some pita out the refrigerator. I mean, the cabinet, wherever that pita at in your house or the grocery store, wherever you gotta go get it. Cut it yourself up, you know. Pray over it, you know, and take also look it up on that internet. Oh, they got some on Amazon too, you know. If you want, you pull the lid back and you take the bread and yeah, you and have communion with your Abba. And you drink the cup in remembrance of his blood that he shed on a cross on Calvary for you to have hope and faith. God is doing I, something new with his, 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 his Gentiles are coming. Them believers are coming forth. Yeah, they coming forth. <laughs> Take time, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, yeah. God, does. he sits outside of town. Yeah. I just wanted to encourage you guys today. To let you know that God is saying he will bless Israel. So be prepared because he says in the flocks of thy sheep, blessed shall be thy basket in thy store. Blessed shall be when thou comest and blessed thou be. <laughs> I didn't even know that was next. And blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We here. <laughs> You ever grew up? Yeah, it's getting bright up in here. Look at the Lord. The glory door is here. Mm -hmm. This is Sia in the room. Who been seeing that the whole time? Oh, huh? Jesus. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You saw that too? Big, big, big. Uh-huh. Check, check, check. <laughs> mm. Check mark, you that seal. Mm -hmm. God been showing up in marvelous ways. He showed me the Saul to Paul story where Saul literally had to see the marvelous light. And he was like, Lord, is that you? Yeah. And it brought him closer. Yeah. And he started to know the Lord was speaking directly to him. <laughs> and his whole life changed and he never was the same. Yeah. I would call him. He knew his name. He know your name too. I love y'all. Be well. Stay motivated. Stay prayed up. Stay positive. Realize that God is the above all, be all, the head, not the tail, after all, make a beginning and the end. Morning star, to be exact, that be Jesus. Yeah. That begotten son. You got to believe in him. He loved you from the very day that you were brought into the earth. Yeah. Even before you got here. He when, sure did. When we were in heaven, we was a baby. He was... Hmm? Was we in heaven and we was a baby? Was you a he when you was a baby? I believe and I believe that, you know, 
You maybe was a spirit before you even became the baby. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. He formed you. That would have said my I word. I was a baby in heaven. Mm. Hey, you know, I just going to listen to the word. The word said, <laughs> for he foreknew you. Yeah, he seen the baby. Mm-hmm. That was coming forth. You know, there's a sweet baby born in the manger. You know that? How it go? It's a sweet baby born in the manger. That's her intro. Every time. <laughs> At first she didn't have that intro, and then she made it. Sing it. Sweet baby born in the manger. Uh, I forgot all the lyrics. He takes all of my problems and he solves them. Mm-hmm. That's the baby she seen. Yeah, she saw Jesus. Yeah. 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 She a seer. That's how. Who over there trying to... You can't, can I? You can't be a seer if you don't believe in Jesus. Oh, who that be back there in the back? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know that before we let you go, it said, and yeah, I think that was Isaiah. They were saying, yeah, there were people who wanted to see what you see. And yeah, but they did not see because, you know, mm-hmm, go read Isaiah. I ain't going to be the bearer of that. I, to, yeah, I should. Watch super back. It's gospel. I should yeah. watch the one. Be, yeah. The one, uh, Only that spirit of the stupor. The Elijah. Mm-hmm. Elijah. The spirit the of one, stupor. The one, the one, he be misleading. The one. The one. The one, uh, okay. the one, mm-hmm. uh, called uh, Elijah Ballhead. The kids got eaten for two mommy bears. Okay, now. What side is we on? Come here for I'm Christ. I'm Elijah's. Yeah, that's the prophet. He's the film, fulfillment of Moses, the prophet, and Psalms. And yeah, and yeah. I love y'all. Bye-bye. We out. <laughs> God bless you. We pray for our enemies. We send love to you guys. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Don't let that stupid make nobody perish. Now, nah, whoever that was, yeah. Seek wise counsel. I'm going to. Bye. Mm-hmm. Don't get caught looking at. You call me. Okay. Yeah. Look at God. Mm-hmm.